Hello everyone, welcome back to Angie's Kitchen. Today I am doing another vegan recipe with veggie chunks. I hope you like it because it's a good recipe. Um, yeah, good recipe. Yeah, curry with a, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, here I have some aromatics, my thyme, garlic, some anise seed. Also, I'm putting in some vegetable seasoning. And my dried veggie chunks. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Let it stay there to avoid for about three minutes and going to off the stove and let it soak for a good hour. That's for my boy banana. And for my blanche okra. And I'm adding a little salt and a little salt. We're going to peel our bananas. We're gonna peel our green bananas. All right, so you guys may already know how to peel bananas. So you cut right there. This is how I peel my banana. And I like to peel it under running water so I don't get any stain on my hands. Some person oil their hand. Everybody have their way and method of how they do things. And then I take off any little excess because when the banana boil you don't want this leave on the banana so you clean up a banana nice so you have sexy banana on your plate <laughs> yeah all food sexy to me and exotic especially my island food love them bad my doctor told me when i'm eating green banana i should eat one i said doc you're crazy one banana? Hell no. Alright. I'm gonna put this to boil. If you can stop. For my okra, this is how I clean my okra. I cut off the head. And here, head and the tail. Already washed. And I have salt in my water, so I'm just gonna blanch these. My banana is boiling, the water is boiling, so I'm putting my bananas in now. And guys, when I'm cooking, I try to cook everything at once. Because I love to eat. I put a piece of banana skin in there. And then, I tip. I tip a bit of vinegar. Just because I don't want banana to get ugly. And I'm trying to boil banana in there because the end, because the iron in the banana is so strong, it will change to a lush red color, which sometimes is not so pretty. So the vinegar will cut that to give you a nice pretty banana. For my pot for my chunks, some oil. You know, we Jamaicans do your measure curry, right? We just put onto the food look like it's the desired color <laughs> that we want it to be. I like, it doesn't matter what way you, you use your curry. If you put it on the food or you burn it, it's just personal preference. So, I put mine like that because that's how I separate it. And this is my baby song. Oi, oi. Like I said, first time preference. So, make a little more curry. A little more vibrant color. 
you know? I wish you could just smell this. I wish you could just smell it. I really wish you could just smell it. Heavenly. Heavenly. Alright, so I'm going to cover this for a couple minutes. Let it simmer. And I'm going to come back and put in my vegetables, right? So, as usual, you don't have to wash your hands. So, once your fork goes through like that, your okra is going to go. So, I'm going to off with the stove. And it's the same thing for the banana. Well, you can tell when the banana, when the banana cook, they change color. But you still test it with your fork. So, now, we're just waiting for our chunks to cook. To cook, to cook, I'm in red. Finiam, 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 finiam. Alright, so let me go and cut up some onion in the meantime. Cut my onion in a four because I don't want them so small. Nice and chunky. It's nice and chunky for my curry, for my curry. Yes. Everybody cook curry, curry chicken, curry goat, curry, fish, kong, whatever you may like. Everybody have their own method and style of how they cook their curry. It's similar, sometimes can be a little different. Everybody put their own look at twist, their own look at spin on things. No, I um I wouldn't say it's been a few minutes and this is what our veggie chunks look like. What I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna sprinkle a little sugar on it just to enhance the flavor a bit. Remember, this is very bland. No flavor at all. All right. Pouring my Irish potato on my carrot. And I'm adding that stock we poured from the chunks earlier. I'm adding some of it in there. Now, any method that you use to cook any other curry you cook is the same method we use to cook the chunks. It's no different. Now, I'm going to let this cook for another 15 minutes. Let me add all my stock. You don't have to add this much stock if you want. You don't want to. You could use less, but I prefer it like this. So, I'm going to leave this to cook for 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and add in my bell pepper and my onion. Okay. All right. This has been 15 minutes. Our chunks is going lovely. But note, veggie chunks, this one have a tendency to be a little bit bitterish. So you have to season it carefully. I'm going to add some of my marination blend to it. Celery and and lint garlic yeah and thyme onion scallion and some oil and i blend so i'm gonna add some of this to it for additional flavoring you can add coconut milk to this if you like i am not gonna use coconut milk i have cilantro and i chop my cilantro and freeze it because i don't use it that often so this is a way to preserve it and keep it fresh for me for when I'm using it into my meals that I need to cook or anything like that. So, there. Adding my cilantro. This is also optional. I'm also gonna add some scotch bonnet, which is also optional. So, remember, this, this is my personal twist based on my taste bud. So you don't have to add the cilantro, you don't have to, the cilantro really gives it a nice taste. You don't have to add the scotch bonnet if you don't like pepper, or you can add it to what your palate can tolerate. But we love pepper. <laughs> yes, everything I cook, I put pepper in. All right, so this is what it looks like, and the cilantro really gives it a nice edge. All right, so I'm gonna let this know, add in my bell pepper my chopped onion I don't like when my onions are cooked out or my pepper so I tend to add them in last 
and the veggie chunks it really do absorb liquid so i'm gonna cook this for another three minutes and then see this is mm. perfect then the nice good all right and hope you're ready for yum i'm ready this is finished add some cornstarch because i like gravy yes i love the cornstarch to this so this is finished i'm going to plate Break, eat something else, try something new. You'll be surprised to see how good it is. I'm talking with food in my mouth, but please just don't pay me any mind. I am excited for this dish. So please try it, try it, try it. Right? See you on my next video.